phrasal verbs now from the name of the topic phrasal verbs you might think that verbs is something to do with your grammar so that's where the topic originates right phrasal verbs but the problem is that the questions that are asked in phrasal verbs are to do with vocabulary not grammar so there is no correct placement of phrasal verbs or the the right way to use phrasal verbs no the problem with phrasal verbs is one phrasal verb can have multiple meanings yeah it means something else than what it appears and this is what we are going to study today in phrasal verbs so let me just uh, fetch my slides yeah uh, so slides visible i hope great thanks okay so this is something that we've covered just the sources of uh, you know good newspapers this is what we were discussing last 15 minutes so i'm just going to skip this slide for now some magazines um, websites blogs are also a good source of reading um you can read as per your interest those of you who are interested in technology you can read few blogs or websites on technology those who are interested in finance or climate change or whatever else just whatever you like to read it's a good habit half an hour to one hour every day i know that that may not be immediately possible start with 10 15 minutes start with newspaper whatever is easy nowadays podcasts has also grown up there are many podcast apps which help you keep in touch with various topics so whenever uh, say some of you all are traveling or you guys have some time at home when you guys don't want to look at the screen then you can just download on the podcast app on your mobile and you can listen to it with your eyes closed yeah so that's a good way to take a break from the screen but nowadays full day we are in front of the screen no sometimes the eyes get a bit tired yeah So B five zero three says Yojana and Kurukshetra. Okay, these are interesting magazines. I haven't been through them. Let me also have a look. Thanks, thanks for the suggestion. Isn't Clubhouse a meeting app where you meet other people? I don't think it's a news app. I'll let me check. Hmm. Okay. So coming to phrasal verbs. Huh? Acha. So clubhouse is for audio conversations with people. Okay. Nice. Interesting. Or it could be also in a group. good good that you all are staying in touch with the latest technology and the latest apps very good okay so phrasal verbs are basically made up of a verb and a preposition okay now both of these we have studied in our grammar classes verb and preposition and the problem with phrasal verbs or what is tested in your exam is that phrasal verbs generally have a different meaning then what the verb suggest yeah they have a figurative meaning or a idiomatic meaning so once we start doing a few examples you will get to know yeah this is another section where i want you all to be more active on the chat and i want to see a lot of responses like we had in our first class so what can be the meaning of this combination of verb which is to look and this is your preposition up right preposition we've all studied no up down after before ha huh. so look up although the word suggests that look up means actually looking up that's not the meaning of the word look up is actually to search for something yeah you can look up a word in the dictionary you can look up the meaning of something on google so looking up is a combination of look and a combination of a direction 
but when you put it together it means something completely different and that's where the confusing aspect of phrasal verbs comes in that's the vocabulary that the examiner is trying to test do you know the meaning of two words when they put together they mean something completely different yeah so looking up is to search in a list you've misspelled this word again so this is your meaning and in my slides today we'll try to follow this nomenclature first you will get the meaning and this is an example sentence and the words will be highlighted in bold you misspelled this word again you would better look it up which means you are looking for a word in a list it could be a dictionary it could be google it could be anywhere else okay so you can even look up like a doctor's number in the diary or you can look up someone's reference in the file so wherever you need to search through a list it's called looking up ha huh. what about put out anyone want to try for meaning of put out ha huh. kirti has it kirti has it so there are two meanings sairam also has one of the meanings ha huh. now a lot of other answers yeah so one word one meaning of put out is to obviously uh, which is straight to the point you know he put the garbage outside the door so you keep something outside with some of your left put in the chat so you put out so you basically you are trying to keep something somewhere right but another more interesting meaning of put out is to extinguish a fire okay the fire was large but the firefighters came and they managed to put it out which means to extinguish a fire so this is the more often used meaning which is completely different from keeping something come somewhere you know and then some have also put keep your point okay put out so this means put your point across so i think that is more of put across huh? sirisha and i think a few others also said to keep your point i think that is put across so when you are in a debate or you want to make your point you are putting across your views so put across your point or your views that is not put out okay so put out is generally used for fire so let's have a look um this is extinguish the firefighters put out the fire before it could spread okay so now as we do before i'm going to increase the level of the game okay i'm going to put up words i want you to come up with suggestions on what these words can mean together these are all phrasal verbs okay so what can be two different meanings of bring up okay so a lot of answers on the chat um, right so one bring up is to raise children or as someone rightly said to take care of children or young ones or someone has also put to nurture good i am really happy with the amount of replies that are coming in on the chat so we are getting to see synonyms also we are not just looking at phrasal verbs you are getting to see how many different meanings are possible from this one word yeah so raise take care nurture or someone has put parenting which is also correct all of these are correct yeah so let's look at one of the examples uh, oh there's another meaning also which uh, someone had put i missed it in the chat who that was which means to raise a point right so whenever you are discussing right there's something that you don't want to talk about but someone brings it up so to raise a point or to raise something in discussion to have a word yeah or uh, as someone says to bring up some idea or to express or to talk about it or to mention wow so many different words coming up so bring up has two meanings one is to raise kids 
and we had all of these synonyms for it and another one was to raise a point or an idea in a conversation that is also to bring up so let's see if i had the same things yes mention a topic bring something up my mother brought up that little matter of prison record yeah? something that you want to hide and bringing up to raise children it isn't easy to bring up children nowadays okay uh, someone else has also put b503 to propagate okay this is interesting to propagate or to further the prospects so you are trying to bring someone up through the ranks yeah you can say it in the form of a career related way so propagate also means to support or to further your career prospects yeah so this will someone like your boss would do no he brought me up through the company so it's it's similar lines of raising children yeah someone is helping you rise through the ranks so this is also bringing up good thanks so this was a good one okay so this is interesting we are not only learning new words being phrasal verbs so we are putting together one word which is a verb and one word which is a preposition and together it is called a phrasal verb and what is tested in phrasal verbs is your vocabulary how many different meanings of one phrasal verb is possible and that's what we are trying to discuss in the class okay so let's have a look at three meanings now of breakdown okay so we have stop so one meaning of breakdown is stop then another one is an emotional outbreak yeah someone has put so let's put more synonyms here sad feeling yes breakdown or you can say start crying yeah this is okay uh what can we say for stop uh you can say stop or discontinue or uh, cease this is someone has put cease yes okay another way of breakdown is to break it down into small small pieces so this is also another meaning of breakdown into pieces or uh, you can say collapse yeah someone else has put decompose okay this is also interesting the meaning is the same decompose is also breaking down into small small bits and yeah regenerating it decompose segmenting fragmentation wow so i'm really impressed by the vocabulary that is coming out in the chat these are all the same meaning huh? breaking down into smaller pieces segment it fragment it disintegrate it okay yeah figure out or simplify so another way in which you can say break down over here is you want to simplify so where can we use this i want to break down the problem into individual parts and then try to figure it out once it is simplified so that is breaking down the meaning is the same all will come here yeah so an example over here is she broke down into tears yeah this is an emotional outbreak a sad feeling or you start crying she broke down into tears maybe on hearing about the loss of her grandfather or something like that just an example broke down yeah when you have to stop or discontinue it can be something like a machine breaking down or a car breakdown yeah this means to stop or to discontinue so an example which pavan has put the car broke down in the middle of our journey that's good that's another example of breakdown yeah and in this one can we use an example i broke down the project into small small parts so that we could assign each part to one person yeah so this is breaking down something into its individual parts or segmenting or fragmenting okay good ha huh. so someone else has put an example one political party broke down into two factions good so this is also breaking down into pieces then this will come here in the last one yeah good so nice so between us 
in a class of all of us we've put together so many meanings and words which are only coming down from two words breakdown and that has led to so many examples and words put together yeah so let's see what i had put on the slide so one is stop functioning our car broke down at the side of the highway this was the first one then of course we had the emotional breakdown the woman broke down when the police told her the son had died yeah so this is get upset this one we covered and the last one was breaking something down into smaller parts the teacher broke the final project down into three separate parts okay good so i think between all of us we covered all these there is nothing new here on the slide now i'm going to take this word the same word break okay i am going to change the preposition bhavya that is also okay no problem okay so from the answers in the chat you can also start putting a example sentence uh, if you want so one uh, of one option of breaking in is to enter yeah enter forcibly or enter into a restricted area something that is not allowed he broke in yeah the thief broke in the thief broke into my apartment and stole my tv right so this is sorry this is breaking in where you are not allowed to enter good yeah and example also let's put down the thief broke into the apartment right and the other breaking in which happens is that when you are uh, some have said breaking in into a conversation okay so break in into a conversation yeah or uh, some have said this is to interrupt basically yeah this is also okay breaking in yeah um uh, some are saying rule violation that is just breaking the rules huh? satya i don't think that is breaking in we are looking at break in so breaking the rules might be something different so interfere or interrupt is to break in okay there's one more breaking in which people have not put yeah now when you buy a new piece of clothing or when you buy a new shoe you know so you are initially when you wear it it is a bit uncomfortable especially it is the seen with uh, leather shoes yeah those who have experienced this um whenever it is new some parts of the foot will hit the shoe and it will start creating some sort of issue for you but after a few days once the shoe adjusts to the shape of your foot then you feel more comfortable in it it stops hurting yeah so you can also break in a new piece of clothing or a new shoe so this is actually to start wearing something new at the start it is uncomfortable yeah to overcome that and to make it comfortable with regular wear that is also called breaking in and uh, this not only works with us when we break in clothes or shoes but uh, breaking in initially was used with uh, you know when horses are there no the younger horses they are fitted with the horse shoe on their foot so that the foot doesn't get hurt on the cobblestones and wherever they have to ride so when the horse shoe is new when they are putting a piece of steel on the end of their foot so the horse also feels a bit uncomfortable no because there are nails going into his foot so horse shoe is fixed with nails actually directly into the foot so uh, in that case the horse takes a bit of time to get used to what is at the end of his foot so that's where breaking in originated so it's called breaking in the shoe and then of course it comes to humans also when we have to break in new clothes 
um, Mahima is saying the example you gave for breaking in, isn't it break into? Ha, huh, Mahima, that works the same. So break the thief broke into the apartment. If you want to join also, broke into the apartment is also fine. Not a problem. So breaking in is to enter forcibly. Only this part. Yeah, but breaking into would be something. So if you are breaking into the safe. a smaller thing right when you are gaining entry into it so then you use breaking into something but when you are in a larger room or a building or an environment then you say breaking in to the building or the apartment so it's a finer point over there so let's see what i had put here so i had enter forcibly into a building uh, we saw this and we also had wearing something a few times so it doesn't look or feel new yeah breaking something in we saw this and then you guys came up with another one where you are trying to interrupt or break into a conversation ha huh. ravindra has put a very good example the hackers breaking into our privacy or our data so ravindra that will come here the first one because hackers are also entering forcibly into something that they should not have access to that will be first one yeah and last one for now same word different preposition so till now just with one word just with break we have come up with so many meanings and new words already okay so break out uh, some of you all have put uh, break out is to shout out okay break out saying something loudly okay right then there is another word break out is to escape or to come out yeah you break out of jail or you break out of the door to escape yeah or to open up open up would not be break out i don't think so it's used in the same sampat breaking previous records is breaking the records it's not breaking out the records so just look at whether you would use this word or not yeah then break out to get relieved of uh chinmay to get relieved of would be to break up not break out so get relieved of break out your feelings i don't think is used that often break out the feelings so break out is to bring out something to escape to come out it can be added here only if your feelings overwhelm you yeah then they you know the tears break out so that can be in the same line because they are escaping or they are coming out the fire burst out okay so your burst out suddenly everything is in the same lines yeah burst out expose okay yeah now there is one more break out which we have not covered can anyone name it so we have break out saying or shouting something which we have we have escaped the prisoners broke out of jail ha huh. someone has put it here uh, ravali has come yes that's correct ravali so when you have a disease okay and the disease breaks out on your skin yeah so that is something like breaking out okay so my skin so let's see an example of that i have it on my slides so we have the prisoners broke out of jail when the guards were looking so escape can be substituted by uh, you know anything that is closed so feelings and emotions would also be here the tears broke out feelings broke out but the other break out is when you have a skin condition i broke out in a rash after our camping trip which could be something related to an allergy or some plant which you touched or some water which you drank from the river which was not clean yeah 
so the, anything could be a reason for breaking out in some disease or rash or as someone said pandemic yeah so i broke out in a rash after our camping trip something that is visible on the skin ha huh. okay so detergents make my hands break out in maybe dryness or some other condition that is visible yeah wrinkle that can also be allergic reaction okay ah so pandemic is outbreak it's the opposite it's not break out it's outbreak good thanks 4k5 for pointing that out you can put your name here what is 4k5 <laughs> your parents will be so unhappy they've given you such a nice name and you're putting 4k5 in the chat <laughs> okay ravindra break out and outbreak are not similar break out is a phrasal verb you're breaking out in a rash outbreak is a noun it's a thing an outbreak of such and such disease yeah is happened so something like that is an outbreak so it's a noun it's a thing two different things okay so interesting how are you guys finding uh, the class so far uh, learning some new words hopefully all of us i really like the amount of interaction that we are having huh? the amount of replies that are coming on the chat your participation for this kind of topic it's important yeah so let's go into a small test now five questions and you can put in five answers in the chat so if you think all of them are a you can put a comma a comma a if you don't know any of them you can keep blank also no problem So I have a question from twelve D six. What is the meaning of fire broke out? So fire broke out is also fire escaped from one house to the next, and then it spread through the entire neighborhood. So that is also breaking out. So in all of these questions that are there on the screen, if any word is not understood, not the options. Options, of course, I will explain. But any word from the question that is not understood, please let me know. Let's learn some new words, and then we'll get into the answers. Wow! So first one from Manika. Manika, you have four out of five. Yeah, we need to relook one of them. Nice to see some answers. Hema, Bhavya, Nalini. Yeah, what about the guys? Ah, huh? guys are not attempting. All girls are answering. Okay, here's Vasan. Good.
Right. So that's uh, two and a half, three minutes or so. Anyone still attempting? These are slightly quicker questions. Huh? Sometimes you know the answer, sometimes you don't. And as you can see, when you combine a verb along with a preposition, many different meanings and possibilities are there from the different words that are presented in the options. Even when we go through the options, just from a vocabulary perspective, let's try to study what the different options can mean. Okay, and if you guys also have inputs, you can put in the chat. So coming to your question one, she was visibly hurt by his remarks. I could see her desperately trying to hold down tears. So when you're trying to not cry, that time you're not holding down tears, you're holding back tears. So the first one is D, you're trying to hold back tears. But what about some of the others? Can we see what hold on to? Hold on to is when you're holding for something for support. You're holding on to the railing when you're climbing the stairs. That can be hold on to. Okay. So this is looking for support. Right. And what is a hold up? <clears throat> a hold up is when someone is pointing a gun at you and they are asking you for your money and your jewelry and your watch. That is a hold up. Okay. So this is basically a robbery which is happening. Okay. And then you have hold back when you are holding back your tears. Right. Okay. So hold over doesn't have a meaning. So hold on to and hold up. Two friends who met after a long time were seen catching up on each other's health and family. So when you meet someone after a long time, you catch up. Let's catch up. It's been a long while. So you're just going to discuss what has happened over the last one or two years and all that. Yeah. Um, others don't have any specific meaning. Catching with doesn't have a meaning. Catching over also doesn't have a meaning. Catching in also doesn't have a meaning. So nothing specific that comes to mind. In our country, corruption runs right through all sections of society, not across. Okay, runs right through. Now, what is runs over? So when you are driving a car or a bike and you run over someone, it's called you know, you hit them with the car or the bike and you run over. It's an accident. So this is called running over someone or something. You may even run over a, an animal or you may run over a plant or a tree, something like that with your car. So this is run over. When you run into someone, you're, run, you're accidentally meeting. Yeah, not driving in accident, but you're running into someone. I ran into my friend at the mall. I ran into this guy at the cinema theater or at the market. So you're meeting, but it is unexpected. You're not planning and meeting, unexpectedly running into someone. And what is run against? When you stand for an election, then you run against someone. So this corporator is running against that corporator in the local elections. So run against is for the election. Okay, any doubts on these first three, which we've covered so far? So, so far we have the answers um, D, comma, C, comma, A. I'm happy that a lot of y'all had five out of five. So you guys have the vocabulary already. There's very little that I'm teaching you. Huh. So the government's decision to pull back the heritage structure and build a new commercial complex drew flack from the public Flat is criticism. So basically, the decision was not received well. The public did not want to do this. Yeah, Pull the heritage structure down and build a new commercial complex. And you don't pull back, you pull down. Whenever you are going to destroy something and you're going to build something in its place, you pull down the building, not pull back. Pull back is used to withdraw. So if you have an army and you are at war and you're telling the troops to pull back, it means to come back, not to advance so much. So that is pulling back. 
okay uh, pull up is literally to pull someone up so that is in the direction or those who work out in the gym you know what a pull up is on the bar yeah pull through is to survive yeah we were not sure if he would pull through but he did yeah given that there were no medicines for covid we were unsure that the patients in the icu would pull through but they survived so pull through is to survive a difficult situation so this can be a medical situation which means you can be in a hospital and you pull through which you come out of it it can be life situation also like suppose you lose your job or you are in a difficult situation but if you pull through which means you've survived you've come out of it and pull aside is basically to pull aside someone from the crowd and you know you whisper something in the ear so pull aside is to take someone to the side and to you know to maybe to talk to someone separately um gayatri has a doubt on the meaning of run through okay so gayatri when you talk about corruption running through or anything that is going through everything else a line that is going through the wall yeah or a nail that is going through the wall it runs through several surfaces or layers that is called running through so in this corruption runs runs through all sections of society yeah and when you have a price hike the government decided to roll down the prices of essential commodities owing to pressure when you have a price hike and you are trying to reverse it it's called rolling back not rolling down okay um there are two other words here which can be said to have meanings roll up uh, this is generally used uh, you know if there's a carpet or a yoga mat and you roll it up and you fold it and keep it to one side so that is roll up and roll over can be used for interest so suppose you have taken a loan and the loan is due on the 30th of this month end of the month but the bank and you can't pay that loan so the bank decides to roll over the loan loan to the next month so they say that interest rate the date is extended by one month so now you can pay on july 31st something like that so that is called rolling over it's extending the date of payment of a principal or interest which is due so that's rolling over okay bhavya has an interesting question Uh, pull it off means to successfully execute something so our answers here by the way were d c a followed by b followed by c this was your answer uh, bhavya is asking the meaning of pull it off okay so bhavya pull it off is to successfully execute so i wasn't sure about my examination marks but i pulled it off which means i scored well okay he wasn't sure if that presentation will go well but he pulled it off which means he successfully presented the contents of his ppt pulling it okay so good any other doubts on any of these any words which are not understood let's do another one another set of five and this one is a different kind of question you are not selecting the alternative you are selecting the actual meaning
good so lot of answers coming in kirti 4d4 harshita pavan pavan you have 4 out of 5 need to re- review one more hema as well rest are all 5 out of 5 5 and 2 uh, mahima uh, 5 1 oh. Uh, gayatri 4 out no gayatri 4 out of 5 akash also 4 out of 5 then we have 4j8 okay 4 out of 5 uh, sorry all 5 chandra has a problem with irrefutable where is irrefutable chandra where is irrefutable i can't spot it or are you just asking the meaning of irrefutable acha irrefutable ha okay found it okay irrefutable is something that cannot be argued against okay irrefutable evidence it it proves your point there is no argument against it without doubt okay so let's solve i now call upon the president to address the assembly so calling upon is not telephoning the president this is obviously the assembly where many people are gathered and the president is being invited to the stage to talk next so this is invite call upon the government has decided to clamp down on smoking in public places to clamp down is actually to completely stop to take strict action so that smoking in public places doesn't happen so this is a take strict action yeah facilitate is opposite facilitate is to encourage and restrict mildly is a, a mild version of clamp down clamp down is basically nothing allowed whatsoever and this is not it and this is not it do people usually dress up to go to the opera so this one we are all aware of when you dress up you are putting on very good clothes and you are going out yeah dressing up it's it includes makeup but dress up first most importantly is clothes and then you can do makeup so d more than c and simply putting on a dress is not what it means dress up this we all have used no chalo let's dress up let's go to the mall let's go out let's meet people yeah something we've not done actually for more than a year dressing up which i took it as an advantage yeah? like no need to dress up uh, last year i remember some of my cousins got married and they did zoom wedding so uh, we all were attending from our houses so some people were actually fully dressed for a wedding and sitting on their sofa even in other countries right and i took the opportunity ki chalo i don't have to go to the wedding i am not going to dress up so i am sitting in nicely shorts and t-shirt and i am attending the wedding <laughs> so took advantage of not having to dress up due to covid lockdown opera is a uh, a theater where they perform uh, uh, songs yeah geeta so opera is a theater where some famous singers come and sing songs and the song is also acted out in the form of a story so that's an opera um i think it originated in italy a lot of famous opera singers are from italy even now right and they sing in a very high pitched voice so uh, have you seen those ads where the voice is so high that the glass cracks because of the frequency of the sound ha huh. you guys are all taking advantage as pavan says of not having to dress up because of online classes so, <laughs> so no one is dressed up and by chance those who switch on their video by mistake we can see that you are not dressed up <laughs> yeah and unfortunately i can't take advantage of the same i have to be in <laughs> yeah so though she is talkative at home she clams up as soon as she reaches school clams up comes from the shellfish yeah shellfish has two shells 
and once it shuts it shut you can't open it so this is called clamming up so when a person clams up the person becomes very quiet and doesn't mix with people so this is called clamming up to be very quiet yeah it's not rudely sociable is the opposite sociable is actually to mix and to have fun with everyone and confused is also not related so so far we have had b comma a comma d comma b and the last one authorities back down on their promise to demolish the building so when you back down on their promise on their plans actually it means you are going to roll back you are not going to go ahead with it so you are going to retract so this is d last one support with evidence is the opposite of what you want yeah this is actually back up with evidence and the opposite of that is back down where you are not going to go ahead with it and ask for help and reduce the scale of his noun okay so b a d b d i think slightly easier than the previous set the previous set had confusing options this one we just had to choose the meaning so much easier okay so geeta is asking an interesting question are retreat and retract uh, synonyms yes they are in the same direction retreat means to come back from your position yeah so retreat is actually a person coming back from wherever they are and retract is maybe plans or uh, promises are being retracted so something you had said is being unsaid yeah you are cancelling but retreat is actual position of a person somewhere where you were you have retreated back to an earlier position so there are they are in the same direction but two different things slightly okay so let's get back to the interactive exercise that we were doing huh? we were looking at words which are the same but can mean different different things so let's go back to a few slides now i have changed your verb we are going to do cut which is your verb and we are going to combine it with a preposition in so what meanings can you think about for cut in okay so one meaning which some of you all have put is cut into pieces so this is basically you are actually cutting with a scissor so that's okay then you are cutting in where you are interfering okay so can we put cues into this cutting interfering or cutting into a cue or a line right then we can have cutting in which is interrupting so which means cutting into a conversation yes okay good okay someone says cut in salary okay so then cut in becomes if you are cutting in salary then cut in becomes a reduction i faced a cut in my pay but that's only a cut yeah that's not cutting in it's only cut my pay was cut so yeah then you have breaking in so let's say breaking in is the safe as interfere so break in ha huh. now we have two opposites 581 has said start and ramya has said stop cutting in is actually to start not to stop ramya stopping would be cutting out cutting in is to start yeah when is this used when a machine or an engine starts it's cutting in ha huh, bhavya also has an interesting input if a salary is there it can be cut down bhavya cut down is generally used when we are talking about you know something like a tree or a branch or a building when you are cutting down something physically salary you don't cut down you just cut there is no preposition required for it yeah so okay so we have cut into small small pieces that is one then we have cut in which is to interfere into a queue or a line or to break into something we have cutting into a conversation and we have cut in which is to start not many people answered this huh? 
so if you notice when you have uh, you know something like an air conditioner okay ha huh. geeta also has a cut in the skin but geeta that's a cut it's not cutting in a cut in the skin so skin is what you are clubbing in with so that's a cut a medical term okay see here when you have an ac no or you have a refrigerator have you seen the compressor it stops when you reach a higher temperature like 28 or something yeah it starts so this is called cutting in and then the temperature starts reducing 27 it starts reducing 26 and at some point the compressor stops working yeah and this is called cutting out and then this temperature starts increasing again because it's not cooling 27 it goes back up to 28 and then the compressor cuts in so cutting in is when the machine starts and cutting out is when the machine stops okay so a new meaning for cut in and cut out so let's see what i had put on the board so one is interrupt we did this your father cut in while i was dancing with your uncle one is you cut into another lane okay when you are driving ah this is what 581 has just put to make a sudden movement pull in too closely in front of another vehicle so you are changing lanes suddenly so that is also called cutting in and when you are cutting in into a engine so this can be used for conversation interrupt a conversation this can be used for a queue or this can be used for a line as well wherever people are lined up this is used while driving and this is used for a machine when the machine starts operating yeah okay so bhavya okay so you have cut down on expenses sure we can no problem i think i have it in some of my slides also possibly cut down let's check okay so all happy here three new meanings of cut in let's come to cut off okay so we have cut off which is to cut off marks or to reduce marks or the price okay all of them are in one where you are cutting thing off yeah okay now you are cutting off a person so you are saying cut off a friendship okay and one more is where you are cutting off a connection okay maybe the electricity connection yeah Oh, Sri Ram says margin for qualifying cut off. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. But Sri Ram, if you've noticed, the words that we are on are all verbs. Okay, they are actions that are happening. Yeah, you are cutting marks. You are cutting off someone from friendship, and you are cutting off electricity. Your margin that you are talking about is a cut off, which you have to pass. It is a noun. or uh, like someone else has put i think pavan has put these are the minimum marks that you have to get so it's a cut off it's a level of marks it's not a verb it's not an action okay so here okay now we have something interesting cut off your finger a bit extreme but yes this can be used for jeans as well cut off jeans and uh, make them into uh, shorts power has been cut off we have here yes yeah okay so that's about it i think four options that we got for cut off let's see what i had put so we had remove with something sharp the municipality workers cut off the branches of the tree okay it's done before the rains actually so that the tree doesn't fall down and then we have the phone company cut off the phone so here you can substitute phone with electricity i think that's what most of us answered and the last one is to cut somebody off someone had said friendship for this one 
yeah but it can also work with a will when someone elder to us cuts someone off from the will it means that they will not be allowed to inherit any of the money that you have earned after you die so that is cutting someone off from the will and it can be used for friendship also cutting someone off off out of your life so that's also that works okay and the last one okay so cut down as some had put we can cut down trees or as bhavya had put we can cut down on expenses this is also okay yeah cut back is also used for expenses cut back is to step back is to reduce cut down is also to reduce cut back is also to reduce both can be used okay um a1225 says cut back may be taking a u turn um may not be used in that sense let's take a cut back no i don't think so yeah what about cut out last one yeah you cut out something with a scissor so this can be a cut out or you cut out someone maybe from the group okay cut out into pieces yes this is still to separate scissor or to separate to cut out yeah okay to stop working yes 581 says it correctly so we had cut in when a machine starts working we had cut out when the machine stops working so this is the opposite ha huh. chaitanya i am not getting posture posture would be used where cut out your posture or to cut down no cut out pictures okay so this can be used with a scissor so this can be pictures acha cut out for appearance he doesn't seem to be cut out for this role oh okay yeah that can be another so based on appearance or you can say eligibility can i use this as well yeah good this is a new one we've discovered something new from our group exercise right i don't think i had this in my uh, explanation so let's see what i had cut back is to reduce expenses to consume less cut back on sweets or fatty foods and to cut down is to actually cut down the old tree in our yard or as bhavya said we can also use cut down for cut down on expenses both work and cut out is either you can cut out with a scissor or the cut out for a machine and as we said the last one cut out in terms of appearance or in terms of eligibility he doesn't seem cut out for the role yeah this was a nice input i think chaitanya and 599 both of you all came up with this good so let's go into a test five more and let's see how we do this time okay ramya has an issue with recession uh, so ramya recession is a economic recession where the gdp is not growing the economy is not growing there might be job losses there might be pay cuts 
this is a recession people are not buying enough okay so first answer from hema hema you have 3 out of 5 need to review first one and last one acha same with mahima and shravya as well are you guys sitting together and answering same answer 3 out of 5 and need to review first and last um and harshita has uh, think again 3 out of 5 okay the few more answers coming in so as your answers are moving upwards it's a bit more difficult for me to judge okay many answers all together so i've lost your answers upstairs okay so let's solve so when you have two teams facing up the chennai super kings and delhi daredevils are preparing to square off okay when you are facing each other in a competition you are squaring off not squaring with and not squaring on square up can be used when you have you know if you are trying to split some expenses so generally when you go out as friends and someone pays right and then you have to pay that person back and uh, some you go somewhere else and then someone else pays so basically to equalize everything and to pay everyone off and whoever has to receive money it's called squaring up where everything is equalized so that's squaring up and the rest are not really used the company has decided to cut across expenditure no this is what we just studied in our previous slide we cut back on expenditure so we don't cut off we don't cut in and we don't cut out all of this we studied in detail huh? we just did so i didn't expect the second one to be wrong i think should have got this one because we just went through it the marriage fell over because the couple realized they were totally incompatible incompatible means not meant for each other can't stay together the marriage fell apart yeah, it didn't fell over what happens when you fall over a person falls over when a person stumbles they can fall over so he fell over because his shoe got stuck in a rock or in a crack so that is fell over yeah and fell out is when you have an argument but it is meant for two people and it's not called fell out it's called a falling out so those two friends had a falling out 
because they did not come to they had a disagreement on something so that is called a falling out and it's not it's never used in fell out it's always used as a falling out so here it's fell apart and fell off obviously when you like fall off a cliff or a building or something and fell behind is when you are in a race or you are in an examination and you are falling behind in your preparation so that is fell behind it is always prudent to lay out some money for a rainy day here you lay aside some money it's basically you keep some money in reserve and what is a rainy day a rainy day which is a when you are not earning or if some sudden requirement or expense comes up suppose you are admitted to the hospital so that's you know you need to pay a large amount of money so lay out is wrong and lay aside is okay you know lay down is when you actually lay down on the bed or lay down can also be when you lay down a part of the installment suppose you are taking a loan and you lay down a part as you know collateral or something that you are going to pay up front so that is called laying down it is advisable to keep away from to keep away there's no from this is important yeah so most of you have chosen keep out of but it's not keep out of it's not advisable to keep out of fatty food it's advisable to keep off fatty food to not eat in order to ward off heart attacks and other lifestyle related diseases okay keep out of is when you are talking about a room like you are you know you are going to keep out of something you are not going to get involved in it keep out of um keep down is when you are trying to swallow something which is not tasting good and you are trying not to vomit so you are trying to keep it down yeah and another one for keep down is uh, when you are doing the volume right some neighbor comes and complains if you guys are having a party and can you keep it down please which means can you lower the volume of whatever music you are playing yeah and then uh, yeah pavan has an interesting input uh, when you lay down right uh, he says when you are laying down a punishment lay down on your knees okay so this is actually in a to get into a position which is punishment to lay down but actually you can lay down a punishment huh? you can lay down a fine of something so that is also laying down okay so we had um, what b comma a comma c comma a comma a this was my answer okay so how was that that was phrasal verbs an interesting session an interactive session i was happy with a lot of inputs that came in from your side in fact on some of the slides we also managed to put up more words than i had planned to put up so that was nice okay was it a good experience for you guys did you all all learn some word ha huh. as a 405 is saying yes in the exam it may happen that sometimes you know the word sometimes you know the meaning and sometimes you don't right if there are negative marks don't take a guess first try to learn the word and then only attempt it if there is no negatives then go ahead then not a problem you won't lose any marks if you are getting it wrong okay so this was our last vocabulary class no more vocab after this i am going to meet you all again this week we will be studying critical reasoning okay so let's wrap up this session a few minutes early thanks for the feedback it's really uh, interesting to know that uh, you guys also learned a bit of new words and some are saying that you wanted to continue also as many new words as possible see it's not possible to cover all words in the class so what i'll do is i have a list of around 150 uh, 200 phrasal verbs yeah? different different words and what all they can mean some of them we covered in class break in break out break up all of that right but there are many words which are possible so i'll put up a list phrasal verb meaning and sentence okay i'll put it up on your website and you can log in and you can have a look so maybe you don't need to read through the whole thing in one day 
if you just learn 5 510 510 words at a time it will be useful for your examination so i have quite a detailed list of phrasal verbs some of which we covered today rest become homework okay so we'll upload the list uh, today evening and you guys can have a look today evening onwards daily try to go through few words two three words five words whatever you can and maybe in a month's time you can learn all of them okay so varun will will come to critical reasoning next class chalo so have a nice day everyone thanks for attending thanks for putting such nice feedback also in the chat i'll i'll see you all again later this week bye